weeks. Well, snowbirds are back, and this winter, one popular destination has made a major change. Yeah, the city of Dunedin now charging for parking downtown where it used to be free. Officials say this is necessary. Yeah, but as ABC Action News reporter Ashley Yor explains, not all business owners are on board. It doesn't tell you how long. The new parking meters in downtown Dunedin seem to be confusing some visitors who say they didn't know that now you have to pay. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't have said. I just took it for granted. Foot traffic here certainly not taken for granted now that parking comes with a price tag. Maybe they'll come for a meal, but then they won't walk around to shop, or they'll walk around and shop, but they won't stay for lunch when they used to do both. The owner of Mirabella Fashions on Main Street says customers aren't used to paying for parking, and despite a free daytime lot nearby, she's noticed a hit to her business. My weekends, which is all paid parking on weekends, have definitely gone down. Um, Sundays for me have gone down significantly, uh, probably 50 to 60 percent. This parking lot is free until 6 p.m. during the week. It's paid in the evenings and on weekends. That's what presents a challenge for restaurants like this one who are relying on that evening traffic. We want to make sure that we get as many visitors as we can. New to downtown, Pisces Sushi and Global Bistro's owner says paid parking was a bit of a shock and people need to adjust. Um, if you go to other other parts of Pinellas, Tampa, you know, there's paid parking everywhere. I think it, people just have to get used to change. And now some business owners hope the city will make the parking prices and hours consistent, both on the street and in lots, to keep Dunedin's charm intact. Without the merchants and the restaurants and the people walking around downtown, Dunedin would not be what it is today. In Dunedin, Ashley Yor, ABC Action News. Well, paid parking will be discussed at the next commission meeting, January 26th, along with financial information and any changes based on public feedback. It takes place at City Hall at 630 if you'd like to weigh in.